forest we see the dangerously plant dangerous plants that contain poison for any sort of plant eater that's where we see a complete surprise a dinosaur we haven't seen ever since snapper has died it tends to be very strange to see another carnotaurus around the lush forest New life must have been broad, so around the other side. This one daring to take as many risks as possible. There's no possible way to find food that isn't apparently poisoned. So this time, he decides to take bigger risks. Obviously, a carnivore would be that desperate to eat that. <laughs> Strange. That plant doesn't have any poison in it. Something must have poisoned it itself. But what kind of dinosaur would be smart enough to do such a thing? We'll have to find out later as we continue to examine the place where this young Carnotaurus has unfortunately died. This may be the last time we ever see a Carnotaurus agent Earth. Along the shoreline, we see the three raptors. And some strange piece of meat. Flies tend to be swiveling all around it. It seems to be strange to have prey that there's no dinosaur around to feast on. Something must have purposely must have been unpurposely put there. It would have been very strange. First the Pachycephalosaurus gets thrown by by rock. Thrown at by rocks. Rocks get thrown at Pachycephalosaurus. For no apparent reason. No dinosaur will be smart enough to use rocks and throw it at dinosaurs. Next, plants that aren't even poisonous tend to be poisonous. And now it seems to be that prey is just out there. Whatever it is, these dinosaurs better watch out. They're not as smart as you think they might be. Whoa, 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 this is where the Baryonyx found the Gallimimus. It seems that Iris has found it. Iris seems to praise the Gallimimus for already being dead, so she doesn't have to do the work herself. It seems very 
very strange to dinosaur is already dead with nothing killing it. Unfortunately, the Gallimimus might have been killed by either a, a strange carnivore who has very good bl um, blending in tactics and s and smell that matches the environment very well. Or it could have been str another strange creature that no one has seen on the island before who's that smart enough to do these sort of things. Let's we'll see if Iris ends up surviving whatever this is. <laughs> Here are the Rexes. Unfortunately, they haven't killed Iris. It must have been that Iris got out just in time. It seems like the Rexes are still on the hunt for the big Indoraptor. <laughs> Breed the feet off any carcass as that is given. Lion tends to be a bit anxious about everything. Carnivores will be getting a lot more prey than as tend to be. It seems like even Lion is more smart enough to go after any carcass on the ground. But the alpha declines, of course, easily. At this point of year, the Rexes will most likely be the ones scavenging. It seems like that lion's being denied. He might be kicked out of the pack. And if he's kicked out of the pack, then how is it gonna be, how is such a small Rex gonna survive alone? It seems like we got our small baby Spinosaurus with us, but his recent death of his father. He is apparently in Nyrus's nest, where she had recently laid her eggs. But it turns out her eggs seem to be nowhere to be gone. But the Spinosaurus, looking a bit guilty, it tends to be that the Spinosaurus has ate the eggs. I wonder how Iris would have to deal with this sort of stuff. But with no more Endoraptor eggs, how is any, any Endoraptor supposed to thrive? We all know that Iris' life can't last forever. So how is the Endoraptor population supposed to flourish? There might be more than one Endoraptor, but it seems very strange for a dinosaur to lay eggs without a mate either way. That mystery we're gonna have to solve. Which dinosaur would have mated with an Endoraptor? 